are taking our science test. It should be in your Tuesday folder. Make sure you've got your name at the top. Some of these we'll do together. Some of you I'll leave to do um, by yourself. So make sure you just follow along, watch the video all the way end so that you get all the help that you, that you need. Number one. Oh, sorry. Today's date is the 29th. 9, 29, 20. Number one, choose the word that belongs in the sentence. Blank have long, narrow leaves and do not have woody stems. Grasses, evergreens, or flowers. Well, long, narrow leaves, no woody stems, that would be a grass, right? So A is going to get written over here at the side. Number two, what kind of trees grows cones to make seeds? Cones. So look for which of these has the word cone in it. Summer, coniferous, or deciduous. Number three, choose a word that belongs in the sentence. Tubes that carry water and minerals from the roots to other parts of the plants are in the... Think of that, that celery that we watched. Was that celery... Were those leaves in the... Sorry, were those tubes in the leaf, the thorn, or the stem? It's not the leaf. Thorn sounds kind of strange, but what was that called when we had those water in the tubes? Was that in the thorn or then stem? One of those we didn't talk about at all this chapter. Number five, what structures help keep a cactus from losing too much watery? We're losing too much water. Woody stems, tubers, or stems with a thick, waxy covering. Think about a cactus. What keeps it from losing too much water? Number five, which seed part stores food for the seed? Stores food. We did that on a review yesterday. The fruit, the seed coat, or the seed leaf? Which part stores food for the seed? It wasn't the fruit. It wasn't the seed coat. Remember, it was that seed leaf. The seed leaf is what stored food for the seed. Six, in the forest, Jan picked burrs off her pants and dropped them. What does she do by dropping those burrs? A, she helped scatter a plant's seed. B, she pollinated a plant. Or C, she left food for the forest animals. What is she doing? Seeds are in that burr. She picks it off. She dropped it. Is that helping to scatter a plant seed? Is that helping to pollinate a plant? Or is that leaving food for the forest animals? All right. I turned it over to the back. It's now on page two of my test at the bottom. Number seven, look at the illustration below. What is the bee doing to the flower? Is it germinating it, scattering seeds, or pollinating it? Germinating seeds starting to grow, so it can't be that. So what's the bee doing? Is it scattering seeds or is it pollinating it? Your answer goes up here. Right, number seven's up here. Your answer's going to go up here. Number eight. Many plants that lived long ago are extinct. How do scientists know about these plants? A. They found plant fossils. B. They found living plants that are like them. Or C. They grow plant fossils. How do scientists find out about plants that are extinct? Number nine, look closely at the object shown in the illustration. How was this object formed? A plant was pressed into mud. The mud became rock. A plant grew in wood. The wood became rock. Or a plant grew in rock. That one's A, right? That's how a fossil, most fossils are formed. Plant is pressed into mud, and then that plant decays, the mud hardens and becomes rock, and all of a sudden, we have a fossil. Turned it over, so I'm on page... I'm on page three. Ten says, when a seed starts to grow into a new plant, what's it doing? Creating seedlings, pollinating, or germinating? 
Starting to grow. What is starting to grow? Look at your review if you need to. Finally, we've got two short answers here. 11. How do plants get food? Hint, hint, hint. You need something about the leaves here. And 12. How do plants get water? Hint, hint, hint. You need something about the roots there. Go ahead and pause the video if you're not done with 11 and 12 and you need to catch up. I'm moving on to number 13. Jacob knows that the different parts of a plant help the plant live and grow. He decides to put two of the same type of plant in his garden. Both plants get the same amount of water. Jacob covers one plant with a cardboard box. Soon the covered plant appears weak and unhealthy. Why? Explain why covering the plant with a box prevents it from growing. What happened? Why couldn't the plant grow? All right. When you are done, that is it for our science test. So make sure you've got your name on the front. Make sure it goes back in your Wednesday, Tuesday folder and then mark it off of your weekly checklist.